Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to my channel Tech with Eddie which is all about integrating your IoT devices with your preferred home automation ecosystem. In my past videos I have shown how I integrated my Synology NAS 218 Plus with HomeKit uh, plus tutorials uh, in installing Hoops and HomeBridge. Frankly speaking the Synology NAS uh, is an integral device in my home network as well as my workflow. So do take a look and uh, don't feel shy to hit the like and subscribe button uh, to follow along. So for those consumers like me who do have a Synology NAS, uh, there are other ways to take advantage of Docker. And so for the next couple of videos, a little bit of deviation for my regular routine, I will show a couple of simple uh, installations uh, to install five containers uh, in Docker in a more simplified manner. I use Docker because all of the applications run within one environment and they're all lightweight. So to watch all of your media that's stored in your NAS, today we will install and configure the Plex container in Docker. For all of these videos, I will be using Docker installed in my Synology NAS 218 Plus. So let's not waste time, like I always say, and let's jump into this tutorial. Let's log into our Synology NAS. And before we get into the installation of the uh, Plex container, there is another way of using the Plex service that comes uh, within the package center. Over so you can also install this and run the service uh, within Synology. But the only uh, negative side that I found that from this uh, uh, way, you have to uh, continuously uh, update it on your own uh, to get the latest uh, package. So uh, that's why I did not uh, go down this path of using the service that comes with uh, the package center. Let's go into Docker, minimize this. And uh, what we want to do is uh, look for Plex. And let's uh, select the, the first one, double click and uh, select latest and uh, let it uh, download. It's around about uh, 400 megabytes. And whilst that's happening, let's open file station. Uh, what I have done is I have created a, a shared uh, folder called media. And within media, I have created another folder called Plex. And within this, I have put all of my content uh, nested in this Plex folder. So uh, besides this, you also want to make sure you create two folders that is db and transcode okay besides the other uh, uh, files that uh, is required so you want to make sure you create two folders called db and transcode and also if you see over here i have nested my other media content uh, within the uh, plex folder so let's go over to docker and uh, wait for the file uh, to be downloaded now with the plex docker already downloaded let's double click let's rename it let's go to advanced settings let's click on enable auto restart let's click on volume let's add in three folders to this uh, configuration the first folder is let's go to media plex select and we're going to type in data we we'll add the next one media plex db and we're going to put over here config go in add media plex and we're going to select a uh, transcode and we're going to put in over here transcode Let's go to network. We're going to use the same network as Docker host. Port settings, leave it as it is. Links, leave it as it is. In environment, we got to add in uh, two values. The first one is flex claim. To get the claim, uh, we need to go to a link that I have left in the description is uh, flex TV claim it uh, logs in with your user id 
So all we got to do is get this information, copy, paste, and if you want, we can also add in the time zone. That's about it. Apply. Hit next. Double check. All looks good. Click on apply. Let's go to container. And uh, we see the service is running. I've added in the uh, Docker web page uh, for more information. So if there's some other configuration that you want to add or uh, tinker around, uh, all of that information is here. And uh, let's go to the IP address. So there we are, we have the uh, uh, Plex service up and running. If you want to add in more media, all you got to do is go to users and sharing, scroll the way all the way down to libraries, add a library and movies. Next, we go to data. And you'll see all of your folders over here. So it's nested within the data. And then you can add accordingly. Service up and running. We go to the Docker page. We have it running. So it's kind of um, transcoding all the information that's there. Finally, there we are collaboratively. We have installed the Plex container using Docker. In our next video, we will install the transmission container. Now, to keep all of this going, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. That's the real driver. That's the real uh, motivator. The more, the merrier to bring all of this content to you. And if there's any doubt, and if there's anything I can help with, you can also put down your comments uh, down below. So until then, take care, stay safe, have a nice day. Cheers and ciao.